Hello and welcome to a Phoenix 5.2 tutorial in which we are going to take a look at some of its new cool and useful features. We'll learn how Adaptive Grid works in Ocean Mode, how we can float and dock different simulator rollouts for a quick and easy access, and how we can analyze our simulation times and improve the calculation speed, how to have a finer control over liquids, directed velocity, and animated to get some cool effects. Let's get started. We have here a beach scene that has no simulator in it. Let's use an ocean preset and as any other preset now in Phoenix 5.2 it creates a helper sphere automatically if no other object for a reference of the preset was selected. Ocean preset also creates a V-ray plane to use as a seafloor but we already have a geometry for that. We'll delete both the sphere and the V-ray plane as we don't need them. And we'll move the simulator to the absolute zero. Let's simulate. Currently the simulator is too small and we don't really see the ocean. So we'll adjust a few settings to fix that. A really neat way to do this is to open Phoenix main window, which is new in Phoenix 5.2, and dock the rollouts we need there for quick access. We can dock them side by side, top to bottom, or as I prefer, in tabs. Also, this arrangement is saved together with the max file, so the next time you open your scene, it will be there. Let's now switch on Show Mesh to see the ocean. We will lower the scene scale to 1 to have a more small scale fountain. We will lower the grid size to 3 for now to get a quicker preview. And we will widen the grid size to accommodate our fountain splashes. Let's increase the frame steps a bit for smoother flow of the fast liquid and we will set the time to run a bit quicker for a more dynamic flow. I will increase the surface tension to keep the liquid together and will turn off wetting as we don't need it. In our case foam will be too much so let's decrease its amount and increase the threshold to prevent it from generating. I'll increase the falling speed to 60 to make it act more like water drops and less like bubbles. We'll decrease the splashes the same way as we did with the foam, by lowering the amount and increasing the threshold. Also, we want the splashes to be more liquid-like and not affect the liquid, as it won't have much effect in our case, and to save some simulation time. We can now create a liquid source object and choose our fountain nozzle's geometry. I'll increase the outgoing velocity to 800 and change the polygon ID to use to ID5 as I have preset the top face of the nozzle to ID5. Let's simulate now. The fountain is working but it appears the grid height is not enough. We can fix this by turning on adaptive grid, but we will confine it to grow only in height. In Phoenix 5.2, Adaptive grid height won't affect the ocean level now, even though the grid height grows and the level is a percentage of it. Let's sim again. Fountain can grow freely now and while simulating we can take a look at the new simulation speed rollout that has useful information on which parts of the simulation are taking the longest. In our case we can see the scene interaction, export cache, foam and splash generation being at the top of the chart. And we have some useful tips how to improve that calculation time. We'll hide the geometry we don't need and switch off the foam and splash for now to get the quicker simulation preview. Also, let's play a bit with the source. We can now turn on the new directed velocity option and push the liquid in the X direction. Let's see how these changes affect our simulation. It is quicker now and we can see the fountain gushing water towards us. 
We can make this effect even more interesting by using RGB texture for direction guide. In our case, all the nozzles of the fountain are merged into one geometry object, which is correctly mapped with the texture. It is animated and applied to the source object, just in order to have control and preview of the animation. I have animated its RGB level from 1 to minus 1 to drive it in the opposite direction. We'll plug it in the slot. And let's check the result. I'm quite happy with the effect and we can proceed to final simulation. I'll turn on the foam and splash and increase the frame steps even more. Also, I will bump the grid size two times for more detail. Let's let it run. I hope you like some of the new features Phoenix 5.2 has to offer. There are even more improvements in terms of speed and effectiveness of the simulations. You can take a look at the change log for more information on the updates. See you next time and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.